lost as men are, they may yet be saved. There is a way of life, a door of hope, a scheme of mercy, a plan of salvation. Jesus came into the world on the very errand of saving the lost. The scheme for saving sinners is holy from God. He devised it. He executed it. He applies it. So the scriptures teach, salvation belongeth unto the Lord. The salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is the God of our salvation. He that is our God is the God of salvation. He says, Mine own arm brought salvation. Salvation is of the Lord. Very careful is God to let us know that there was nothing in us to merit his esteem. All this love and pity are wholly undeserved. No man has any claim on the score of his own deservings for any good things. On this point, the Bible is very clear. Salvation is no debt due to any man. Neither is it possible for a creature to have a good standing before God, partly on the ground of personal merit and partly on the ground of undeserved kindness. The two schemes are entirely inconsistent. So Paul taught, if by grace, then is it no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work. Romans 11:6. All this grace is in Christ and in none else.